sleep whisper hypnosis. My name is Jason Newland. Please only listen to this when you can safely close your eyes. So I'm sitting on the edge of my bed, which is where I usually come to get away from Andre. Because he generally, well, often he sleeps in a living this is a quiet space to do this, but he's actually asleep on the bed. So I'm hoping that he stays asleep, which is kind of ironic if <laughs> me making this sleep recording actually wakes him up. But it might not just be my voice, it might be big bum sitting on the the bed that might have uh, been like a trampoline and it might have bounced him up. But he seems very, very happy, happily sleepy. Thing I quite like, I wonder about, 
is that that interest he has when he's awake it's almost like he's when he's asleep he's asleep when he's awake he is really awake and I was wondering maybe that is why he sleeps so easily so well it's because when he is awake he does things and he plays and he has fun and he annoys the hell out of me sometimes and he try he just trashes the place sometimes and he but he's awake and then he goes to sleep doesn't seem to be any thoughts that he's thinking about or anything that he's worrying about that prevents him from just drifting off to sleep and you may think yeah but JJ I'm not a ferret I never said you was Share, share the same organs really don't we hearts and lungs and kidneys and we all need to sleep we all need to go to the toilet we all need to eat whether we're a human or a ferret and in some ways I think he's more human than some humans I've met but I'm biased because I love him when he's behaving and he's asleep so that ability to just drift off naturally is he's continued that from being a baby nothing has interrupted it he hasn't learned any kind of way to get in the way of the, that natural process of going from being awake to being relaxed laying down on your bed head touches a pillow your body instantly naturally relaxes completely in its own time and then your mind starts to slow down see he hasn't had to Because he hasn't learned any different behaviours. He hasn't learned to, how to worry about stuff. He just goes to sleep. He knows that he's safe. And he goes to sleep. And that's the thing, if you're in your bed, and you know that you're safe, Therefore, you can feel safe. And if you're safe enough to close your eyes, you're safe enough to go to sleep. So he hasn't needed to unlearn those negative behaviours.
sense that's a little bit like what I sometimes do when it comes to catching the bus I'll be so um, concerned with something I'm doing online or you know and then I think oh I've only got 10 minutes and I, I don't do this often but sometimes and I leave things to the last minute and I'm rushing for the bus and it's an unpleasant experience just the journey there wondering if it's if the bus gets there early I might miss it if I run I'm not going to feel particularly comfortable because I might you know, get a bit sweaty especially if it's a hot day I just it's not enjoyable I'm not saying that the, the, that the average walk to the bus stop is a, a huge pleasure it's, def it's definitely not pleasant rushing so in a way if I was laying in bed thinking about tomorrow thinking about stuff I've left it to the last minute minute because that is not the time to think about tomorrow when you've had all day to do that and as I've mentioned and you may very well agree with me that actually the act the practice the physical procedure of just lying down on your bed is pleasant it can be a really really pleasurable experience because you're not looking at anything you've got your eyes closed sounds but that's just exactly what it says it sounds in the background it's not anything that needs or requires your attention strange you think about it I don't know if you've done this but many times and I'm saying many 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 times over the years bearing in mind I'm 49 so that's a lot of years millions of years and I thought to myself you know what I'm going to do I'm just going to lay down on the bed and relax for 15 minutes Maybe I've just done a had a hard day at work or you know whatever. Maybe I just fancy a little break, a little a little rest, a physical rest and the thing is whenever I've done this it doesn't matter if it's during the day, at night, um, even if it's in a house full of people. For example, if I visited my dad and it's Christmas and there's lots of people about and there's been times when I've just said, look, I just need to lay down for half an hour and I've gone into the spare room and I've laid down, even with the sound, people laughing and stuff, I still feel relaxed. And there's nothing going on in my brain. It's something to do with, uh, well, why do I need to think about tomorrow? It's not the end of the day yet. Like there's some kind of logic. 
logic in only thinking about tomorrow when you're actually asleep or when you're about to go to sleep. So when you think about it and you let that sink in, the idea that actually it makes sense to If I decide I'm going to have a 15 minute kind of like a meditation or a body scan, mindfulness, meditate, whatever, I'm just lying there. 99 out of 100 times I fall asleep. Because there's no thinking. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not ending the day, tomorrow is not even in my mind, there's nothing going on in my mind at that time, I'm just maybe noticing how comfortable my body feels, how relaxed your body feels, as it's supported by your bed. just asleep. Sometimes he sleeps on his side, sometimes he sleeps on his belly, or his little hands and his, his face resting on his hands. Sometimes he lays on his back with his feet sticking up and his hands just resting on his on his chest. Sometimes he's curled up. He's always happy when he's asleep. Because he knows. Well, I don't know if he knows, but there is nothing to do. There is nothing to think about. his time that is your time it's my time and no one has the right to interfere with that because it's your space to sleep it's precious to think about it like that.
kind of conscious planning when you're awake. I suppose the bottom line is be like a ferret when you're awake, be awake when you're asleep, be asleep. let's face it, you don't go to sleep when you're awake. So why should you be awake when you go to sleep? A pilot of an airline doesn't go to sleep when they're piloting. swimming when you're eating or when you're cooking so we don't go to sleep when we're awake therefore why would we go why would we stay awake when we go to sleep Thank you.